Welcome back already. The 1v1 mid championship continues here. We've got semi finals actions, and to start things off, we've got Arteezy versus S4, and we've got some new heroes Windrunner versus Windrunner. I don't think I've ever seen S4 play this hero. 30 seconds to battle. Um, hmm. I think you need to pull out the, the Dat Dota 4 almost, but uh, yeah, S4 not known for his Windrunner play. Arteezy's been fiending this hero in pub games for a while. He's all about that solo mid Wind Ranger, at least as far as his stream is concerned. But see how they match up here in this one v one matchup. Who yeah. do you favor? Who do you think takes I think, favor? Through? I think Arteezy. Um, I think the heroes suit mo that are more the up his alley. Begins. It's SF on the third round. Second round is Lena, which probably isn't doesn't benefit I, either side. And yeah, Wind Runner, I, no I definitely think Arteezy yeah. plays more. Um, S four. Again, I think of him more as a tempo controller rather than a lane dominator, and RTZ is more yep. lane dominator lane dominator than a lane controller. Yeah. RTZ with an interesting block. He lets the range creep out in front. Doesn't even try to block this range creep, and this range creep's way out in front will instantly die. Interesting choice. Uh, does get last hit though by uh, the S4 on the radiant side. So, uh, what's kind of uh, looking at Windrunner versus Windrunner? What are like the big keys here? Are you looking like max power shot and just spam out and, and farm, or are there are other kind of yeah. little tricks to this? One three one is a standard build. Um, if you want a tower dive, you just have to have at least one level wind run, and you can often bully people out if they make the slightest mistake. And of course, the landing shackles is going to be heavily important if this game lasts longer than five or six minutes sometimes you can go with a surprise um surprise kill if you have like a little bit of higher of a wind run because they won't expect that but it also depends on which side you're on i think that uh radiant actually has a slight disadvantage in this matchup okay. because you're closer to the trees much more likely to get shackled yes if you're especially from the back foot you're more likely to run into a, a shackle shot there but uh, uh other other things um Gonna, um, looking looking at the uh, the other build, Focus Fire, do you think you should be looking to get that at level 6? It's 75 mana cost now at level 1, is it mm. worthwhile or is it still uh, not quite just? I don't think so. You shackle is just really important to have. It gives you a lot more uptime and a majority of your damage will be from power shot early because you can just win run if they Focus Fire, not a big deal. That's yes, well, with a nice little power shot last in there from afar, so uh, he's uh, staying on top of the CS for now. 8 CS to 6 CS, both players with 2 denies and make it 9, so... S4 with an early lead here as far as last hits goes and looking to power shot from trees <laughs> sneaky play there He's just trying to spam the power shot just for harass there like he wasn't even going for a last hit but being very liberal with his mana so far In terms of the starting build both of them going for a null talisman into tri branch and yeah. You're not really at risk of dying very very early not like a quap uh, on quad matchup with boost first like we saw earlier in the day there is still a rune that's been sitting there for about 20 seconds See, on a top lane. players want to rush their bottles for now mm -hmm. like even just going to scout that rune out is potential lost cs or lost denies and much even on cs now well, Ar CS to Arteezy going for his other build that he's going for the double no talisman skipping over the bottle wow. okay but he can get bullied out he only has two more tangos which is not even enough to fill his up h fill his hp up right now and he takes another power shot too so he is 500 hp deficit that's the thing he gets these two null talismans out but with his current hp he has to play safe I and mean, you don't really want to be playing safe when you've got two nulls versus one so yeah he wants to yeah he brings out a south he wants to heal up asap he's actually gonna battle this with win run Forces S4 to do the same, he's going high ground, power shot could be the first blood here, doesn't get the right click off, goes for the power shot instead, doesn't find it, and Bottle arrives to heal up S4, he's going to turn and power shot Arteezy, probably see an insta, well, doesn't have to Bottle Crow if he finds the rune. Oh, no S4 actually went for the 0-2-2 build, so this is stronger, I'd say, in between 5 through 7, 4 through 7, actually. Oh, he actually might go for the kill right here, Arteezy! Ooh. Trying to bait him in. That maybe. last second win run. And now he has to self. Let's see if he drops his null talismans prior to self. No, no, he does not. Even the clarity. Not so dropping. He, he's still not going to be topped up. Okay, well, he actually did bring another set of tangos. But, I mean, that's a lot of region already spent. That's what, over like 275 gold right there. And yeah. that's not quite half a bottle, but it's still pretty close. Looking at the net worth difference, it's like a 300 net worth difference, even though there's one CS between them. There is all the regen items. Why haven't either of them checked the rune? I think the DDU is pretty significant. Especially in this S4. Like it's yes. so quick to scout the top rune as well. You only have to go like halfway there. It takes you like five seconds total to just in see daytime. It, see if at it's least. there. Yeah. 
Now that it's night, it's tricky. So he'll bring his bottle back out, S4. Could buy some observer wards to help him out, especially now that it's nighttime, having the observer wards to give you the high ground, the like up, uphill vision in the mid lane can help out a lot as well, but I haven't seen it just yet from either players. And Arteezy has done a much better job of managing his mana, but he doesn't have the luxury of having a bottle to heal his mana pool back up. And RTZ does have more damage though, 81 compared to 72 of S4. And actually both of them going for the 0-3-2 build. Okay, so no shackle shot play. It's one of those things where if you're expecting a long match, you probably want to try have max shackle shot like around level 9, level 10, but they're probably both thinking it's not going to last that long. Maybe they can get a kill before then. So S4 himself going for a second Null Talisman. He says, you can buy Null Tally, so can I. Arteezy with the HP advantage there, trading hit tree in the mid lane, power shot goes through, that gets Arteezy low, he's gonna go for a power shot, misses it though, and S4 gonna turn around, has a power shot in 3 seconds, is he gonna go for this, win run is available for Arteezy, but he only has one or the other, he gets hit by this, one more right click could be coming in soon, Arteezy has win run, he's gonna go for this, S4 is in trouble, he may get up first blood, gonna bottle in between right clicks, he can't do it though, first blood Arteezy, that level 3 win run, owned him right wow. there, that, 4.25 second duration, and that's why you go the win run, I guess. Radiant Triple no talents. Yeah. One less in the map. He gives him all the money he needs, the extra HP, like, the no talents. I think if S4 was a little more vigilant about checking, like, there's not a great point in getting bottle if you're not actually going to check the runes. And especially when the other guy's not checking, you should have that venue available to him, and there's no way that RTZ can bully him around like that if he gets that DD in the middle of the game. Especially during daytime, that's, that's where it's mm -hmm. like that two minute. DD rune should have been picked up, but... Aside from that, RTC playing with fire, he was under 25 HP, I think twice that game, and still pulls out ahead. Prepare for Hello battle. and welcome everybody back to the TI4 solo mid championship. We're here in the semi-final. We have a smoke. What? What is he doing? This is next level. What is going on here? And S4 was going? actually the one that bought boots earlier versus in the match versus Ice 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 and RTZ trying to pull some next level plays here. Is he going to try and chicken snipe? I think he actually I think he's might. going for a kill. Already? Wow. Get the okay. high ground, light strike array, and then he's got the harass advantage with boots first. He's going to do a lot of damage off of this. Uh, if he hits a stun, he yeah, will. to say he needs to use his stun. <laughs> It's it. S4. He can't really trade blows, not against boots. He's, well, he kind of has to stand his ground, but he's got the tower to hug and... Another stun. Arteezy's got another stun available himself, so he's going to kind of poke his head around. Takes a tower hit, though. 30 seconds to um, that. That's a painful stop. S4 is a stun. I... You've got to be careful. This is so dangerous for both. Okay. He has to dodge a stun. Is he going to do it? He did not dodge. And that is GG. Well, well played. S4 brought up Pingos as that was happening. Scorcher. <laughs> Okay, what? I, next game. He didn't stun from the high ground. Like, he right-clicked and didn't he, stun. That, that was strange. Yeah, I thought he was going to right-click him as he went to the high ground. As soon as he turns around, he stuns. He gets, like, four yep. free lasses. The problem is, S4 didn't actually spend all his gold. Dio so if he tanks for us early, he can go back to the fountain. He can TP back. He can bring himself tangos. He can bring himself salve. He can bring himself boots. And that was a YOLO play. What a game. We brought the stream back up, and we... Our second GG before the creeps ball. Too was... easy for S4. <laughs> Look at that, 738,000 GPM, what a player. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, and the XP per minute, this is just off the charts. S4 is just breaking Dota 2 right now with how good he is. So uh, we go to SF versus SF. I guess it's it's only natural we get an SF versus SF. Arteezy versus S4, do you think Arteezy is still going to take it? or? I think Arteezy is going to win the SF versus Look, SF. Look, after seeing that, I'm on the S4 bandwagon. <laughs> I don't know what that was, Arteezy, <laughs> but go back to buying Null Talismans. That was actually working for you. That was just... That was That's some, low. Clowny, some clown shoes stuff. That's a low know. blow. <laughs> well, guys, stick around. We've got Game 3, SF versus SF to decide this semi-final. Who's going to be in the Grand Finals? Will the S4 or Arteezy? We'll find out after this short break. Prepare for Alrighty battle. guys, after a long, long break, we are back. It's time for Game 3 of the Shadowfiend vs Shadowfiend matchup between S4 and Arteezy. Winner goes through to the Grand Finals, loser is knocked out here in the semi-finals. I'm God, joining me is Merlini. Are you ready? We've Finally, got Arteezy in the game. we had all Ooh. the issues resolved. Arteezy is no longer lagging. Branches have been bought. Wraith bands have been bought. Game is ready to roll. And you, you favor S4, I favor RTZ. Yeah. Look, we're, we're a team, but it doesn't mean we always agree, so... 
we'll see how this one goes down. Uh, it is a spot in the grand finals, a pride at stake, a, a, a solo mid championship, and uh, a trophy at stake. So I uh, will see who's going to be walking home proud here, at least in this semi final. The other two players waiting in the other semi final Ferrari 430 and Resolution, uh, both still alive in the other half of the bracket. Do, do you so. dislike X's or SS model? I said X because I saw him type the rage I'm, thing. I'm kind of medium about it. A lot of people were complaining about him needing a rework. I actually don't think he needs one. I quite like. It's not like I don't think it's like it's not how I envisioned SF like as a Dota one player. But like I'm not like oh it's terrible. It needs a, a remodel. I think he could be more shadowy. He looks too. The battle um, begins. Too concrete for for my liking. It's, I think he could be you more know, like shady. Yeah. And when you go in the showcase mode, especially, I feel like you could almost like add some more detail to it, or I don't know. But overall, I think it's yeah, it's, it's solid. It's not bad. Anyways, a okay, good, a good six or seven out of ten. So checking out the block looks like S4 and RTZ are actually relatively uh, even in this block. Yeah, pretty much even so far. Looks like we make a slight advantage RTZ. Yep, ever so slightly, but it is die side, so you'd expect this and. The other stack goes here. The big thing is just <laughs> what often happens the first like creep wave or two is that you just mess up each other's last hits and no one ends up getting sold. But <laughs> so far it's easy. He's off to a good start. Yes, he is. He's gonna have three souls. Nope. No. Close. That was an important one to get. So uh, uh TZ on the die side, the EG solo mid player up against alliances. So I mean they're practically teammates, although they're not teammates, but. S4 is uh, obviously not known for his kind of playmaking. Well, he makes he makes plays in a different kind of way. He plays the initiators, the tempo controls. Arteezy plays more your carry style mid heroes. You'll like very rarely see S4 get first blood or first blood his lane, or yes. get first blood or first blooded in his lane. But Arteezy, you'll see a little bit more often. Although they don't really give him those type of heroes anymore. It's a pretty even CS stat so far. TZ one deny ahead, which is, translates to one soul ahead, which gives him a bit more damage. Both players have brought out some more tangos and very standard opening as far as this match. RTZ playing very aggressively, trying to harass from the low ground. Hmm. That's rare. It, and somewhat ill-advised when you're on the low ground, as uh, you do have a high miss chance. So nice long raise there from RTZ. He was going to get denied, which would have been a, a soul for S4, and he uses the C raise there just to guarantee the last hit, which I, I like to see. So. We call them E raises here, buddy. The C raise. I don't C raise. E raise. Oh. Uh, I call e -raise? I call them the long distance raise. The QWE raises. Yeah. QWE. I'm still uh, I'm still in the uh, the Dota one. You can call them, you can just long medium short. ZXC. I don't know. Well, okay. those, are, those are my Long items. Range. Anyways, going back to the game, looks like both have opted for a little bit of regen. We see three Tingos on RTZ, two Tingos on S4, and RTZ, let's say, doing a slightly better job of CSing and slightly better job of uh, yeah. control, but overall, it's still a very even match. A two minute rune will spawn bottom, will be an illusion rune. And no bottle yet for Arteezy, instead opting for the salve as well as a magic stick S4, trying to redirect cre creeps outside of his tower, but taking a lot of damage in the process. And we're gonna, it looks like S4 is opting to go for a bottle rush with his start. Mm -hmm, I think um, so. He, but he can get there pretty safely. Like Arteezy can try and get aggressive, but right now S4 is right by his tower. Arteezy only has mana for. Uh, one raise, about to get the mana for two raises, but with just two raises, S4 is plenty of HP to stay alive, so you should be able to farm this bottle pretty safely here. I'm actually surprised that RTZ isn't going for a bottle, just because raises do so much damage in this matchup yeah. that you need them not only to spam out the other hero, but also to just get CS. Arteezy holding on to his mana a bit more right now. He's going to salve up, and then he can look to get aggressive here. S4 takes one raise, has a salve. Which he's probably going to need to use momentarily. He still hasn't actually farmed his bottle, which is a bit of a worry. He's going to get bullied uh, even further here as he backs off just to use his salve. Does not want to get caught out by that long raise. Yeah, Hartiz is showing his lame prowess right now. Yeah, he just raises it. He, he uses up all his mana just to get that last creep to get his bottle up. And Arteezy could have gotten away with a bottle into a magic stick instead of a magic stick into a bottle. He's only accrued one charge this whole Ooh, entire time. He used boots. Arteezy. Oh, he went boots? Oh, wow. Brown boots. That's Rocking aggressive. Out. He wants to go for a kill maybe at level 5, although he's a... Yeah, he'll have enough for two raises. Ideal number is three. Uh, but uh, he can just kind of trade right clicks and he knows S4 is bringing his bottle out soon. He sees S4's items and recognizes that this bottle is probably up any second now. So he wants to try and get whatever he can right now. But there we go. Bottle arrives. S4 will heal up. 
This is where the boots. I'm not sure how much they help you. Like you it, he has to here. get a kill before S4 gets his, or else S4 will start to pull ahead shortly after he gets his boots. Yeah, because he can just spam down the raises, and he'll have much more mana to do so, and he's free to farm. Uh, whereas RTZ has to actually use his boots for something, checking runes, uh, trying to kite S4 a little bit. But I mean, that's a help for CS. Tango and Sal brought out by RTZ, so he's not even going to go for his bottle. He's going to go back for more regen. Drops the tangos on the ground, pops the salve, and this is aggressive. Arteezy did a very similar thing in the Wind Ranger versus Wind Ranger game. He went for a kill by like level 7, and Bottle doesn't actually usually pay off until a little bit after that, because you're you're somewhat hindered by not having He's got boots. No mana though. Like he can't go for kills. He has magic stick. He has three magic stick charges. Yeah, that's. He's got one raise, maybe a second with the the, the charges. If. If he has some raises, wow, he's taking so many tower heads, and he spent a lot more than S4 on regen. Yeah, like you look at the CS and you think, oh, Artizi's doing well, he's kind of winning. But you look at the items, and S4 has much more of a, a long-term plan with the bottle, uh, and just the fact he's not spamming Tangos and Salves. This bottle regen will be there permanently. So the amount Artizi spent on Tangos and Salves adds up to the bottle as, as it is right now. I personally don't like the boost before bottle unless you get a kill, just because in the SF versus SF matchup, once both heroes hit like level 5, level 7... Oh, Ooh, actually... He's got a long race in a second. One blood. right click on the C race, he gets the kill first, but S4, GG is called. That's your game-winning kill. Indeed. One kill, one tower. That's the rules of the 1v1 tournament. S4's wow, going to the grand finals. That was without boots, really? too. I don't even know how he caught up to him. Yeah, the right click. Like, that was still, strong. It's easy, like, back up to his tree so he had to kind of sink it was during night time he was pursuing uphill without boots so s4 i did Good not play. see that one coming yeah. great play so uh, he's in the grand finals he'll be taking on either ferrari 430 or resolution that's our next semi-final so we're going to get some more uh, spicy matchups we'll get the wind ranger wind ranger matchup and the lena versus lena once again and uh